Welcome to the Drone Phantom 3 Take Apart Guide. First, you'll need to remove the battery. To remove the propellers, you will need to use the motor vise while you spin the propeller in the proper direction to remove it. Next, to remove the camera. Use a small flathead screwdriver to pry off the plastic lock nuts like this. Once both have been removed, you can then lift the camera and gimbal mount up to reveal the cable and two antennas. Unplug the cable from the camera. and then remove the two screws that are above each of the wireless antenna covers. Remove the door and then unplug the antenna. Follow the same procedure for the other antenna. Now that the cables are unplugged from the camera, the camera can be removed. Next, remove the four T8 screws from the camera gimbal mount. Then the mount can be removed from the drone body. To remove the landing gear, you will first need to pry loose the antennas from inside the gear. And then use tweezers to pull out the rubber gasket. Then remove the four T8 screws from the landing gear and the landing gear can then be removed. For the landing gear on the opposite side, do the same procedure. Pry out the antenna on the right side, and then use tweezers to remove the rubber gasket.
Then remove the two Phillips screws covering the compass board. Remove the door covering the compass board. Then use your tweezers to remove the rubber caulking around the compass board. Once that's removed, you can then remove the cable and the compass board from the landing gear. Remove the rubber gasket, and then remove the four T8 screws from the landing gear. Once those are removed, the landing gear can be removed. Now to open up the drone body. You will need to remove the two T8 screws right above the motor mounts on each of the four arms. Also the T6 screws at the tips of the arms. As well as the T8 screws in the middle of the arms. Before separating the drone body, you will need to pull back the stickers past the seam separating the upper and lower parts of the body. Use a flat tool to pry apart the upper and lower body to separate it.
Once the upper case is free, maneuver it so that you can unplug the GPS cable from the board. Now remove the four T8 screws holding the motor onto the body. The motor is now free from the body except for the wires that are soldered onto the board. Remove the rubber caulking over the wires and then you will need to desolder the cables from the center board. You will need to continue this procedure for all four motors. You will need to remove the antennas from the center board as well. You will also need to desolder the arm lights from the board. Now unplug the remaining cables from the center board. Remove the four T8 screws from the center board. The center board is now free except for the battery power wires. The wires will need to be desoldered. The board will then be free. Remove the Phillips screws from around the battery bay and then remove the battery bay. Then take out the compass cable. Now remove the USB port by taking out the two Phillips screws.
You can then remove the two Phillips screws from the battery contact strip and wires, and then remove them. 